Yo, what's good? You already done know what it is. It's your girl, Just Kim Mean. I'm out here. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're already a subscriber, Wagwan Brethren, you already done know. I appreciate all the love and support. So in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys an experience that I had going to the bar alone as a single female. I know what you guys are probably thinking, like, why are you even going to a bar alone, you know, especially as a girl, especially as a female? But in my defense, I would say that I am a whole grown woman. I have, I can go to a bar alone if I want to. And I am fully aware of the dangers that could possibly happen to anybody, any female, male, anyone, at any point going out alone, especially at night. I am aware of how to take care of myself in certain kinds of situations. You know, I have, you know, gone to university alone, away from home in another country, and I've done a lot of things alone, and I've been in many uh, situations. I know how to take care of myself, and I know how to look to be aware of certain dangers. That being said, of how safe Korea really is, um, I've come across a lot of videos and a lot of other women who have their own opinions about how safe Korea is. And I think in some aspects, Korea is very safe in comparison to like a place like Canada or America. But in other aspects, it might not be as safe as, you know, Canada or America. Or I think the people act a lot differently in my experience. So. Actually, I was kind of unsure whether or not I was going to talk about this or tell you guys this story. It may not seem like a big deal, but to me it was kind of a big deal because in this story, in this my experience, what you guys are going to hear in this situation, like I was fully aware of what was going on and like I had every opportunity to take care of myself and not be in any immediate danger. That being said, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys about my experience here in um, Itaewon. Um, before I start this, I have been in Itaewon at least once or twice before previously, both with friends, both times with friends, and I've always gotten such an odd vibe from there, just like a pretty sketchy vibe. So I particularly didn't really like Itaewon to begin with, and this kind of just like solidified my feelings and my vibes about that place. The reason why I was there anyway, because I was at a friend's event and after it finished, I decided to go out to a bar to have like a drink or to have a drink before heading back. It's around 11.30 PM, in my opinion, it's really not that late, but anyway. Um, I went to my friend's event and after the event, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go and have one drink. I wanna listen to some hip hop because in Jeju, like we really can't even get like, can't, there's nowhere to go to get like the vibes, to get the tunes, like to get the really thumping tracks that are new, new and like everything's good, hip hop vibe. Like there's not really anything like that in Jeju. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go to a bar and have one drink, nod my head, and just leave after like that's it. I wasn't really planning on doing anything wild considering I was alone. And the place that I went to, I'm not gonna name names, but the place I went to was a very popular choice among the foreigners. It's pretty much known to the foreigners, like this is the spot to go. Everybody goes there essentially. Now that after I've told some of my friends about this that do live in mainland, they have told me that this particular bar and this particular location is known for just really sketchy things like this and super thirsty dudes and all types of madness that I would never have imagined. I go to this bar, okay? It's around 11.30 and I just walk in. So there isn't actually a line for this bar, but I initially thought the line was for the club because there's a club like above it. So I thought the line was for the club and usually I've been to the, this bar by a different location. There's usually not really like a line line. There's like a few people standing outside, but there's not really a line. So I just walk in past everything, past security, past everything. And I guess because I generally thought like there is no line, I just kind of like just walked in. They thought that I already had a stamp and I was already checked. So like I can just go back in. So whatever, I didn't get checked, I didn't get ID'd or anything. So that's actually kind of an important part of the story, like me walking by that line to get into this bar. I swear to you, no less than like two minutes that I walk into this bar and try to make my way to the bar to order a drink, I get stopped by a guy. And you know what, that's not a big deal. You know, guys wanna talk to girls all the time, that's cool. You wanna talk, 
let's talk. You know, he's there trying to talk to me and I'm like, he's like up in my face and I was like, dude, you're up in my face. There's no need for you to be like super close to me. And he's just asking, you know, the pretty much general questions like, where are you from? Or did you come here alone? Like, where are your friends and stuff like that? And I was just like, you know what? I'm just here, I'm just chilling. You know, I'm just here to enjoy a time and I'm probably about to leave soon anyway. And he just like, all right, yo, let me just talk to you for a moment. I was like, you know what? Like, all right, cool, let me talk, but I'm just gonna go get a drink. And he's just like, oh, let me buy you a drink. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Like, I'll, I'll get it myself. Like, you know, thank you, I appreciate it. And he was just like, all right, then, um, you know, we're just having pretty basic conversation. Like, you know, just, about nothing he's just trying to tell me all his nonsense i can tell that he was kind of tipsy he's like oh do you want to dance i was like nah like i don't want to dance i'm just trying to like i'm gonna go to the bar you know i'm just gonna go order a drink and he's like nah nah like let's talk and i was just like bro like you know what like i'm good like i i, I don't know like i don't know i don't know what other ways to say like I'm not interested like I really just want to go to the bar and order my drink and go about my own business and he's there still trying to have this conversation with me you know and he's getting closer and closer I'm like dude like back up out of my space and he's just like bro like chill I was like what do you mean chill I'm like you can talk but you don't need to be all up in my space like you don't have to be so close to me bro and then he's there still trying to like touch me like on my shoulder I was like bro like you know you don't have to touch me I told him like you can talk but you don't have to touch me and he's like bro what's the big deal I'm like, bro, what do you mean, what's the big deal? I'm like, dude, like, I'm a bounce. And he's just still there, like, still trying to talk to me. And he's getting closer and closer. At this point, he's trying to, like, put his hands, like, on my um, waist and stuff like that. I'm just like, dude, like, don't touch me bro and you guys gotta understand like there is so many people um in this bar so like it was really packed so if he was gonna talk to me he was gonna be close to me so and I was trying to get away from him it's not like I wasn't trying to get away from him so I was like by the bar like trying to order my drink so like there's nowhere else for me to go I'm literally trying to wave down the bartender trying to get my drink and this guy is trying to talk to me and like touching me and stuff so I'm trying to tell him like yo back up like I don't want to talk to you like that chill he you know was just still up in my up in my face and stuff like that and trying to touch me and trying to dance I'm like dude don't touch me and then another guy <clears throat> um walks by and he's like yo come here for a sec my initial assumption was that he witnessed like me going back and forth with this guy like telling him like bro back up like don't touch me and he was just trying to get me away from that guy you know just be like a good samaritan so i was like all right cool he's just like yo come here because he was like sitting by the bar like with other people or whatever like you know there's other people at the bar so he was sitting there like on a chair with these like just at the bar and he's like yo come here for a sec i was like all right so i go to like try to get away from this guy and he like grabs my hand like this like at my wrist like tight bro and i was like yo don't touch me i was like bro get your hands off me right now and he's like yo what are you doing you're trying to leave because some next guy called you i was like what i was like i don't know you first of all and i want to leave because i want to leave and he's like oh don't leave like we're people i'm i'm a person you're a person we're just trying to talk i'm like bro get your hands off me right now and at this point like i had my drink because i remember i told you i was just waiting for my drink at the bar i have my drink and he's holding on to me and i was like dude if you do not get your hand off of me right now i will dash my drink in your face and like i literally said that like like literally like i was about to scrap this guy and i guess some people at the bar heard that and they turn around like quick af and it was like Bro, dude, you can tell, like, yo, she's not into it. Like, chill. Like, let go of her, bro. Like, move. Like, you know? And he's like, all right. Like, I don't know why you guys are being so dramatic and whatever. I was like, bro, like, you're literally grabbing me. I was like, bro, get away from me, guy. So now I have my drink and the people who turned around are like, yo, you're good? You're good? I'm like, yeah, yo, I'm good. Like, I'm just here, you know? And they're like, all right, yo, be easy. I was like, all right, bro. And then this guy who who um initially was like yo come here i was like all right cool i'm there trying to you know just shocked i'm for me like you guys might not think like that's a big deal but i think in any situation where you i've already kind of expressed my feelings like i didn't want to talk to this guy like i didn't show any interest i was like up 
pretty much upright rude to dude and he still just would not take any signs or any no for an answer that I didn't want to talk to him, told him to get out my space, still up in my space. So that is still kind of a big deal. Like, why are you so thirsty, bro? Like, I don't get it. Like, it's so uncomfortable. So I have my drink. I'm still trying to decide, like, should I just leave because of this guy? Like, literally not even five minutes, I walked into this bar, like, some dude is just all up on me and just not trying to leave me alone. And I'm just standing there like, all right, whatever. I'm gonna try to find a corner. And then the guy who initially tried to get me out of that situation, I was like, come over here. He comes over and he's like, oh, yo, you're good. And I was like, yeah, thanks. You know, appreciate you trying to get me out of that situation. He's like, yeah, nah, nah, no big deal. And then he asked me if I want a drink while I'm holding my drink. I'm like, yo, I'm good. Like I have one, you know, I'm just gonna have this one and then I'm gonna leave probably in about like 20, 30 minutes, you know, I'm just trying to hear and listen to the music. He's like, all right, cool, cool. And then he's like, oh, did you come alone? I was like, um, yeah, but my friend, she's just working at one of the other bars, like pretty close to here. So I just decided to um, try this one, you know, and then go home, just have this drink and then go home. And then he was like, all right. And then for a second time, he asked me, he's like, oh, what is that? What are you drinking? Like, I'll just order you another one because I don't think one is enough. I was like, bro, I'm good. I think one is enough for me and I'm not really trying to drink. I'm just really here to listen to some music and, you know, have this one drink and go home. This is the second time I'm telling this guy kind of like, I'm good. Like, I don't want your presence type of thing. Like, I don't really don't know. Like, I was pretty much being not nice about any of this that was going on like i'd really appreciate that you know you saw me and you try to help me so initially he says like you know what actually i saw you come into the bar and i was like what do you mean he's like oh you know you just walked by the line like you didn't even wait in line to get into this bar it's like oh shoot my bad like i honestly thought the line was for the club upstairs so that's why like i just walked in he's like yeah i saw you so in my mind i was like so you saw me walk into this bar while you were waiting in line and then you came in here and then you found me? Like, is that what you're doing right now? Like, what? So we're sitting there like having this conversation awkwardly. I'm like, I don't wanna have this conversation. And I kind of like turn around from the bar cause that this time we were like at the bar where I ordered the drink and I turn around from the bar. I'm trying to like scope out, trying to find like a little corner or a seat for me to just go and sit on. And then when I'm trying to scope out the area, these dudes order a bunch of shots right next to the bar. And they have a bunch of shots, a bunch of shots, whatever. I'm trying to scope out. I'm just there chilling. And then one of the guys offers me one of the shots. And I'm like, yo, you know what? I'm good. He's like, yo, take a shot. I'm like, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. He's like, nah, nah, like just take one. And he then like puts the shot in my face. And I'm like, bro, I don't want your shot. Thanks. I appreciate it though. Like, yo, you guys enjoy your night. He's like, nah, nah, just take a shot. It's free. And I was like, so? And your point, I was like, I don't want your shot, free or not, like, I don't want it. I was like, nah, I'm good, I'm good. And he still has the shot, like, in my face. So imagine, a, like, a shot just being in your face and someone telling you, like, here, take it, take it, take it, take it. I was like, I don't want it, bro. He's still telling me to take this shot. I'm like, yo, I don't want it, I'm good, thank you. And it's still in my face. And I'm at the point where I'm like, bro, if you do not get this shot out of my face right now, I will slap it out of your hand. Like that was just like the look on my face. I didn't actually say that, but that was like the look on my face. And I go to take the shot from the guy, like out of his hand. So at least I can be like, all right, I'm gonna, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna take it. I'm just gonna put it down on the table. So I go to take the shot from out of my face and he's there like fighting me, trying to like pour the shot in my mouth. He's like, oh, like just open your mouth. I was like, no, like I don't want it, bro. And then like his friend was just like, all right, chill, chill, like chill, she doesn't want it. And then he's just like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, um, yeah, I was like, dude, like I already said no two, three, four times that I did not want to take your shot, bro. Like chill, like so thirsty guy, like come on, bro. So I'm there like, you know what? He's just like, oh, I'm sorry. And then he just turns around and goes back to his regular business with his boys. Like, what is that? Like, I couldn't imagine, bro, like being at a little bit tipsy there. Like, oh my God, like what the females have to go through in that place. But anyways, so I'm like, 
oh my god like what is up like what is going on so then this guy he's still there behind me just whatever doing his own thing and like i go to walk around to look for a spot because i finally find a spot i'm like oh i see a chair over there i'm gonna go so i go over to the spot and it was um two girls sitting there and there was a space open i was like yo can i sit here and she's like yeah you can so I was like, all right, cool. So I'm there sitting there with these girls and I'm trying to make conversation. Meanwhile, you know that other dude, you know, that was telling me that he saw me walk into the club. He's still there like breathing down my neck. Like, dude, why are you still here? He's just still there being creepy AF, not saying anything, but just standing there like waiting for me, I guess it seems like. So I try to make conversation with this, these girls to see if he'll like just go away because like I don't know how long he's going to stand there. And he's still standing there watching me have a conversation with this girl. It was to the point where the girl was like, yo, do you know that guy? I was like, nah, I don't know who he is, but he's just here. And she's like, oh, that's weird. I was like, yeah, I know, like, I don't even know what to do. And she was like, yo, like, okay. She's like, I'm going to sit here like in the chair next to you because she was sitting like in a chair in front of me and there's still a chair next to me like he didn't sit there because he was f he was there like trying not to be a creep but he was still a creep because he was still there but he wasn't sitting next to me because obviously I didn't want him to sit next to me because I told him like yo I'm good so she sat next to me and yeah we're just there having this conversation I swear to you I talked to her for a good probably 20 or 25 minutes until um she left and then after she left, I was like, all right, I was finished my drink. And then he was like, oh, so you're going to leave now because you said that you're just going to have one drink and then leave. And I was like, yeah, but that doesn't include you. I was like, that's my plan. So I was like, I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going home and that's about it. So I get up and I'm leaving the bar and he's still like following me. I'm like, dude, like I'm good. He's like, oh, let's go to another place. I know like some other spots. I'm like, nah, bro, like I'm good. I don't need like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Gucci. Like, I don't want to go to another spa. I'm just about to go home right now. Like I got to get a flight in the morning. Like I'm good. He's like, all right, all right, all right. And then we pass by the little Ajumas who sell flowers and stuff like that. He buys one and gives it to me. I'm like, bro, like, I'm just trying to get in a taxi. I don't know what to do with these flowers. He's like, oh, just take it. Just take it as my gift to you. I was like, yo, I'm good. Like, I don't want it, whatever. End up taking the flowers, trying to get a taxi. And everybody knows it's nearly impossible to try to get a taxi from Itaewon back to like Hongdae or anywhere else. So I told him, he's like there beside me, like trying to get a taxi. I'm like, dude, I know where I'm going. I know enough Korean to get in this taxi and I can do it myself because if you're here, the taxi's never gonna pick me up, you know? So I'm there trying to get a taxi. He's like, all right, all right. And then he leaves. And then so I can finally just get a taxi on my own. And let me tell you this whole story, like all this pretty much took place in about like, I wanna say like 40 minutes. Cause when I got in a taxi, maybe it was about like 12 something. And then like I got, when I got back to my place and like was ready for bed, it was like one. So there's no way like all this happened in such a short amount of time. At first, like when it happened, I was really blown. Like, wow, that really happened. It may not seem like a big deal but it is like when somebody says no like you just stop bro like there's no need to be thirsty like to be so thirsty it's low-key harassment like the one guy i told you i didn't want to talk to you come out of my space he's still in my space he's still touching me the next guy saw me walk into the club i mean saw me walk into the bar and proceeded to look for me in the bar find me try to talk to me, try to buy me drinks after I said no, and then still continued to follow me around the bar. See what I'm saying? The next guy tried to give me a drink, try to force me a drink that I did not want. Like, what? The moral of this story or the purpose of me saying this, you know, telling you guys this story is the fact that just because you're in Korea, and yes, it is a lot safer from maybe where you're coming from, there are still dangers. It's not necessarily Koreans you have to be worried about. It could be Koreans or it could be foreigners or somebody else that could be in this bar. And in this story, I would say that one of these guys was Korean and the other two were foreigners, you know, but it doesn't matter who did what. The fact is that, you know, there are possible dangers that are there when you do go out 
you know, alone or by yourself as a single female. I know it was just not a very comfortable experience. And I would say if you do go out and you do go out alone, that be aware of your own safety, like be aware of the dangers and things that you should and shouldn't do when you're out, you know? And I feel like I don't need to justify myself, but I was literally just wearing a plain black t-shirt, black jeans, sneakers, and um, a dad hat, like literally down to my eyebrows. So you can hardly see my face. And like, I really wasn't even trying to mess with no one or do anything, just keep to myself. I could have been wearing literally a turtleneck up to my eyeballs or like a paper bag over my head. And these guys are still like, just being so extra. And I wasn't there to like, you know, turn up or anything. I literally just wanted one drink, listen to some music and leave. And obviously like, I couldn't even do that within like that 40 minutes or, or so that I was there. My advice to any um, female coming here to live alone is that there, there's really nothing to worry about. It is pretty safe, but there are still things that you should be mindful of. Don't be completely naive. Like, I feel like that day I kind of was completely naive because I just had like this whole expectation, like, oh, nothing ever happens to me ever, you know? So that was my experience going out alone as a single female in Korea. And you already guys you already done know what it is if you like this video or you found it helpful please press the thumbs up if you like to see more videos on my channel go ahead and slap the subscribe button you already done know what it is it's your girl just kim me and i'm out